Hello everybody, welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today what I'm going to be telling you guys how to set up is this drop cash on death uh, kit that I made. Um, so like when you kill an NPC, it drops a certain amount of cash uh, and you can pick it up and you can get cash that way. So I, I, I made it so that's a very easy system to change and to set up. Uh, I didn't want it to be too complicated for you guys to set up. So I made it into a pretty easy system to learn how to change and stuff. So the first thing you're going to need to do, you don't need to use a sword. I just have it in here in case you want to use it. Um, you guys can choose whatever you want. Just something that could kill the dummy. But I just chose a sword. So if you're going to want to use that sword, you're just going to put it inside a starter pack. Next thing you're going to do, take this leaderboard script here. Put it inside a uh, server script service. This is just to set up the cash stats and the leader stats. Um and then the next thing you're gonna do take this dummy just put it inside a workspace then you can just ungroup this model and you're left with the cash model so this is the most important thing so take this cash model put it inside of replicated storage and i'm going to be showing you guys how to change um the amount of it so as you can see right now it's set to 100 right but if you guys wanted to change it so that you can make it like 150 or 200 or whatever inside of the cash model there's this value called amount it's a number value and this will be whatever you want the um, cash amount to be. So if you want it to be like 150, change to 150. It doesn't update here, but if you hit run, it now says 150. If you want it to be, I don't know, 400, you know, 456. And now it says 456. So, you know, 1,000, so on, so on. Change it to whatever you want, and it will update it so that... It actually displays the correct amount and it will give the player the correct amount so um i'll just set that back to 100 inside of the touch script leave this disabled don't have this enabled so i have it purposely disabled for a reason don't uh enable it touch script all that's in here it defines the cash model the amount value it has a can touch uh value which is a boolean so it's set to true so we're just saying when it gets uh when the cash part gets touched we're finding the humanoid make sure it's an actual player making sure that's not an npc because inside of the npc dummy i have a string value called npc this is just like a tag on the actual um dummy to make to let you know to let the script know this is an npc it's not an actual player so if you're making more dummies make sure you have that npc tag inside of it inside of this cash drop you don't really need to know anything in here this is just you know making that new cash model but uh, inside of the touch script, we're just finding the player and the character. Then we're getting the leader stats and the cash value. And um, yeah, we're just adding the amount value to it. So very easy system to set up. I made it that way. I wanted it to be um, not hard at all to you know set up. If we go ahead and hit play, I'll show you guys that it actually does work. So we go to this dummy. We'll kill it. It drops the cash in front of it. We go pick it up and we have 100 cash now and it gets destroyed so very easy system um if you guys want to change the you know the um the actual you know type of stuff that it drops you can make like gold or something you would make a new um value inside of the leader stat script so just gold gold dot name equals gold gold dot value equals zero and then in here, honestly, really all you have to do is just change this part right here. Um, and you know what? Actually, while I'm at it, let's let's do um, let's make another thing. So we'll make another value. Well, you don't guys have to do this. This will be in the kit already. But I just thought so. It, we'll make a string value. Hold on, string value, and this could be named type um, of type of now type of currency we could just set it to uh whatever you want so gold or something then up here we'll just put local um type of currency equals cash model dot type of currency and then in here we'll just do type of currency uh dot value so it'll be gold or cash whatever, that, whatever you want it to be if you have it set to gold um, it should now change the gold value. There you go. But if you set it back to cash.
it now changes the cash value. So that's how you set it up. This will all be linked in the description as one big kit for you guys. So, um, you know, use it as you want um, for your games, whatever you want. You don't need to credit me. It's all your guys' you, – you guys can use it for free, whatever. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments on the, you know, kit, leave them in the comments below. If you guys have any suggestions for a future tutorial, leave those in the comments below as well. Happy Easter to everyone that celebrates. Thank you so much for 1,000 subs. It really means a lot. Like, it really means a lot. Um, it's just crazy how much we've grown. Um, and on that note, if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe. If you guys have any friends that want to get into Roblox game development, direct them to this channel. I upload almost every single day. So, um, yeah, I'm constantly producing new tutorials and content for you guys, for you guys, and hopefully more people down the road. So that's all for today's video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.